Our reality is a tapestry woven with the threads of our experiences, and sometimes the deepest scars become the most powerful agents of change. These scars, etched in the fabric of our existence, carry the imprints of pain, trials, and wounds inflicted upon us. Yet, rather than seeing them as burdens, we have the power to transform them into catalysts for change and growth. Our journey through life is not exempt from scars. They are the inevitable souvenirs of our battles and trials. But what if we viewed these scars as markers of transformation, as the keys to changing our reality? Every scar tells a story of what we've endured, how we faced adversity, and the grace that has carried us through. By acknowledging and embracing our deepest scars, we can rewrite our reality. These scars, once seen as insurmountable obstacles, become opportunities for spiritual progress. They hold the potential to reshape our perception of the world and foster a greater self-awareness. Throughout the tapestry of our lives, enduring moments create indelible imprints, whether they occurred recently or in the distant past. These imprints, like scars etched on our souls, often bear the marks of wounds inflicted by various sources, wounds that we may instinctively try to deny or relegate to the far corners of our memory. Yet, as the hands of time continue to turn, the truth inevitably resurfaces, bringing with it the echoes of these painful events. They stand as enduring burdens, heavy and daunting, casting long shadows across the landscapes of our existence. The anguish they carry can, at times, feel insurmountable, like towering peaks we must scale. However, beneath the weight of these trials lies an extraordinary potential for growth and transformation. When we muster the courage to acknowledge these wounds and face them head on, we tap into our innate resilience. It is in these moments of confrontation that we discover the alchemical power to turn our deepest hurts into sources of profound wisdom, unshakable compassion, and unwavering strength. As we navigate the path towards healing, the scars on our souls are gradually transmuted from symbols of pain into the very building blocks of our character. These scars shape us, molding our essence and refining our souls like precious gems undergoing the polishing process. We emerge from this crucible not as damaged beings, but as individuals fortified by the trials we've endured, carrying within us the hard-earned knowledge of our resilience and the empathetic heart of one who has weathered life's tempests. Neglecting emotional wounds means missing out on the transformative human experience they offer. Undressed, they can perpetuate ongoing suffering. However, when confronted with courage and compassion, these wounds become catalysts for profound healing and personal growth. I urge you not to view them as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities for spiritual progress. Embracing even our deepest scars opens the door to greater self-awareness and a richer perception of the world. Our past need not dictate our future. We possess the inner strength to rise above it and create a life filled with resilience and grace. In our life's journey, we encounter painful ordeals. The choices we make in navigating these emotional challenges hold significant consequences for every facet of our existence. Do we permit this pain to become an anchor that drags us down, distorting our core, or do we embark on a transformative path, extracting wisdom and growth from the depths of our suffering? On our spiritual voyage, it's essential to remember that God does not wish for us to be imprisoned by our wounds, losing our inner light and the strength of our testimony. The ultimate healer offers a clear solution to the affliction within. When emotional pain becomes a resident in our hearts, it frequently evolves into unbridled anger. This anger, left unchecked, can metamorphose into a corrosive poison that infiltrates our innermost selves, leading to a fundamental alteration of our very nature. This transformation, often characterized as the hardening of our hearts, exerts a profound influence over our choices, the quality of our relationships, and our responses to the world around us. It obscures our capacity for trust, nurtures a pervasive sense of insecurity, and at its worst, propels us to harm others through the barbed words we unleash. In this process, 
our interactions with others become tainted, and we find ourselves in a state of perpetual vigilance and suspicion, sowing the seeds of discord and misunderstanding in our wake. The ultimate remedy prescribed by the Great Healer is forgiveness. For the wounded soul, this prescription is clear and unwavering. To heal, we must learn the art of extending kindness and compassion to one another. It's not a superficial or momentary gesture. It's a profound inner journey. Forgiveness holds the key to breaking the chains that tie us to past wounds. It's an arduous process, undoubtedly, and its difficulty can vary with the depth of the injury. I empathize with your pain as I borne the weight of it myself. I implore you to contemplate and embrace this process because it beckons toward a higher state of existence. It offers a chance to transcend the wounds that threaten to define us. Through forgiveness, we relinquish the power that pain once held over us. Our inner light is rekindled, and our testimony becomes a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity. It's a profound journey with transformative potential that invites you to cast off the burdens restraining your heart. Forgiveness is a potent elixir that works its magic slowly, gradually unwinding the tightly woven threads of hurt, anger, and bitterness that have entangled our hearts. As it takes effect, it begins to reshape the very core of our existence, heralding a profound inner transformation. This transformative process is rooted in the belief that forgiveness doesn't absolve or justify the actions of those who have wronged us, nor does it exempt them from the consequences promised by divine justice. Instead, forgiveness serves as a powerful emancipator. It liberates us from the chains of resentment that have bound our spirits, and it refuses to let us repay evil with evil. Forgiveness is not a guarantee of reconciliation, nor does it imply that we should forget the pain we've endured. It is, however, a resolute commitment to peace whenever and wherever it's possible. It stands as a deliberate choice, a conscious decision to release the emotional debt that others may owe us due to the harm they've caused. However, it's vital to understand that forgiveness doesn't automatically mend every aspect of the relationship with the person who caused harm. Their response to your forgiveness lies beyond your control, resting solely on them. Once forgiveness is granted, it must be accepted as final. It is at this point that the true process of healing can commence in your life. Contemplate the worth of clinging to grudges, bitterness, or resentment. The toll these emotions take on our emotional and spiritual well-being is exorbitant. In my sincere belief, it's not a cost worth paying. The path to healing begins when we take that crucial step of relinquishing the hold of our pain. It's understandable if you find yourself wrestling with the dilemma of how to release a hurt that you may not even desire to let go of. Nonetheless, the first stride in this process involves entrusting it to the divine. In this profound act, we transfer the weight of our suffering onto a higher power. We allow the divine to bear the burden of our pain with its limitless grace and compassion. We cast our heavy load upon the ultimate healer, having faith in his wisdom and boundless love to guide us along the intricate journey of forgiveness. This transformative odyssey doesn't just promise healing. It offers us the opportunity to regain inner peace and encounter the profound sense of liberation that forgiveness bestows. By surrendering our pain to the divine, we unlock a path to renewal and a profound release from the shackles of our past grievances. This act of surrender marks a significant stride on the path to healing. It signifies your choice to relinquish the pain imposed upon you by others, or, in some instances, the pain you've inflicted upon yourself. It's a step toward receiving the forgiveness extended by God. So remember, your past does not dictate your future. You can surmount the pain residing in your history to embrace the destiny the Divine has designed for you. Shed the shackles of the past, whether it entails forgiving others or even forgiving yourself. Our scars reveal the transformative power within us. They become a testament to the miraculous nature of our healing, narrating the story of what we endure, how dire it seemed, and how astonishingly it was restored. We often yearn for a complete restoration, for a life so flawless that nobody would suspect our past difficulties. We desire our families, relationships, and lives to appear unblemished, untouched by adversity. 
But why conceal our scars? These scars bear witness to what we have conquered. They are not symbols of shame, but the badges of victory. Some people need to see evidence of past struggles to believe in the power of transformation. Let's embrace our scars as badges of honor, representing the battles we've endured, the wounds we've healed, and the grace that sustained us. In the grand tapestry of life, it often becomes evident that God's transformative power shines most brilliantly through those who have weathered life's tempests. These individuals, whose journeys are marked by trials and tribulations, can become vessels for a deeper, more profound understanding of compassion and empathy. It is through their experiences of facing adversity that they acquire a unique ability to connect with the struggles of others, forging bonds of empathy that transcend the superficial. In the intricate web of human existence, it is imperative to recognize that God's handiwork is not confined solely to those who seem to glide through life with seemingly perfect journeys. On the contrary, it is the very difficulties and challenges that we encounter that often serve as the canvas upon which the divine artist creates his masterpieces. Each setback, each mistake, and even the most excruciating or unjust circumstances hold within them the potential for transformation into something extraordinarily beautiful. The individual who has navigated life's storms, braving adversity and hardship, emerges not as a broken vessel, but as a tapestry adorned with the threads of resilience and wisdom. These individuals embody a profound connection to the human experience, having faced the crucible of life's trials. They become beacons of hope for those who, too, are weathering their own storms. Through their life experiences, they offer a vivid illustration of the human spirit's capacity to transcend adversity and emerge stronger, more compassionate, and deeply attuned to the suffering of others. In essence, it is the scars and battles they've faced that render them not as victims, but as warriors who have been refined and strengthened by their journey. This transformation echoes the promise found in sacred texts. He works all things together for our good. The pivotal factor in this process is the posture of our hearts. It's about our willingness to surrender, to learn, and to grow from our experiences, regardless of whether the challenges were a result of our own mistakes or external inflictions. It's not about blaming ourselves or others, but about recognizing that even amid adversity, there is an opportunity for growth, wisdom, and the strengthening of our faith. The challenges and trials we face in life can be likened to the raw materials that God uses to shape us into individuals who are more resilient, compassionate, and spiritually enriched. These difficulties serve as the avenues through which we can forge a deeper connection with the divine, gaining a profound understanding of the vastness of His grace.